Hi everybody, it's Martin at Flicking Feathers again today and I'm tying another bass fly. Um, this is Deep Meyer's Already Crunch Crawdad. It's a small mouth bass pattern, really. Um, although larger mouths will also eat it and I'm sure trout will too. Um, very simple tie. The idea is it's supposed to represent a crayfish that's already a bit beat up. Had, you know, it's sort of like half eaten and it's just a bit of waste, it's escaped and it's drifting downstream. So, the hook I'm using here is a size 8 Varivas 2500V, but it's any long shank streamer hook will do, 2x or 3x long. Uh, I've got a brass bead to suit and I've run on about 15 tons of lead wire. Up to you how much you weight it and in Dick Meyer's book uh, he does say that the the gold bead's optional but I quite like that wee bit of slash, that wee attraction. So the tail is two colours of marabou and um, so it's I suppose kind of similar to Tequili in that respect. White and orange. I'm using fluorescent here. Get that tied in. I'll trim the waist behind the lead to sort of help even up the underbody. And then nip this off. Don't cut it with your scissors. Sort of nip it off at rough. Or Kind of rough, um, a rough end, so you, it's not a straight cut. And I like to make that a bit of sh a shank length. It's not a big long tail, and you're not trying to imitate like a swimming action with this. The next part of the body is some cactus chenille, or orange. I'll just wind that forward and tight, touching turns. If you're tying a bigger version, you can use a longer, a longer chenille. This is a fine. You could use medium for this and a bigger fly. Um, you could use medium in this fly as well, I suppose. So once I've got a, an orange butt about a third of the shank length, we we'll tie this off. Trim away the waist. Then just tidy up. And the next part of the body is some kind of brownish. Or root beer colour uh, cactus and I, I like to use uh, a longer section for this so I feel like this represents if it represents anything that represents the a piece that's a piece of the crayfish that's still whole so I like it to be a bit bigger so I'll tie that in and I'll tie right back against the orange chenille then I'm ready for my legs. Um, I'm using silicon legs. And it's two pairs, two sets. Uh, you can either tie them, it's up to you really. Uh, I'm using orange and white, but orange and orange also works very well. Just, well, two orange legs. And I'm going to tie these in sort of like Madame X style. So take my first leg, just fold it over my thread, pull it back to my side, and that will hold it. Take the next leg, Oops. fold it over the thread. And tighten up and that will hold it. A couple of wraps is plenty. 
and then a couple of wraps in front to stand it out. And I'll take my thread forward to halfway between the, these legs and the bead and I'll repeat this process. So first leg, fold it over the thread, pull it up and over and that will just sit on my side, the weight of the bobbin's enough to hold it. Same again. Fold it over my thread, pull it up, catch it in. Just pull the orange legs back out of the way, two or three turns, a couple of turns in front to lock it in. Then I'll bring my thread to the front and to control the legs, take one loose wrap over the, the, the set of white legs that are pointing forward. I'll grab my next pair of white legs. Take another loose wrap, then I'll take my forward point and set a orange legs, take a loose wrap, and then another one just for security. And then I'm ready to palmer my Elliot Brown chenille forward. I've left one pair of orange legs pointing back, and they'll be like pushed against the orange chenille, and that'll help kick them out a bit. So take a couple of wraps between the first two legs and then I'll back off my thread and just come in in front of them. And you want your legs sort of to be sitting haphazardly really. Um, you're not really looking for a, a particularly neat positioning. Then when I get to just behind the white legs, I'll back off my thread again. And wind my thread forward. I wind my chenille forward, sorry. Then after two turns, enough to fill the space. Come, come in front. Come on, tricky, but just just make them go where you want. And then, when I get to the bead, come across my thread, tie off the chenille, I'll just trim my legs so they're roughly even. Don't want them too long. Um, about a hook length is fine. Or you can make them longer or shorter if you wish. And then I'll just take some good tight wraps in behind the bead, sweep everything back, make sure that chenille's locked in. Tidy everything up. Now I'm using fluorescent orange thread, so I'm getting a nice wee be the colour. Um, I also tie these with brown thread or olive colour, olive coloured thread. Anything, anything that you want really, it's up to you. I've not really found there's any difference in the performance of the fly based on this thread colour. So just whip finish. There you have it. Trim away your waist and some head cement. And that is Deek Myers Already Crunch Crawdad. It's quite similar to, as I said, the Keeley. It's I mean, it's basically a bully bugger variation. Looks like a wee chomped up but a crayfish that's trundling along the river. So, if you fish for smallies, give these a try. I hope they work out well for you. Uh, thanks very much for watching, guys, and tight lines. Bye.